do Patrick, Parker, and Peyton all have in common? All three of them came to stay with me for a week while awaiting their new home. I set them up with an adjoining crate and pen in my spare bedroom. Do the same it's just like those other puppies. Oh, really? I think. Ooh. I'd never fostered three puppies before, and it was definitely more work than one or two. Over here. It took two of us to do potty breaks and feeding. Last one. They oh, were goes. hilarious at mealtime. <laughs> uh. They also helped us with the yard work. And of course, they loved to cuddle. All three of them would sleep together on our small dog bed. Since their stay was so short, I didn't have a lot of time to work with them on much except for potty training and everyday manners, but I had them long enough to figure out that each one had their own separate personality. Patrick, or as I like to call him, Bubba, was my favorite. I mean, how can you not love that face? He, to me, seemed to be the most personable, and most eager to please his human. He had a quiet, watchful personality, but he could also initiate play. Hi, Patrick. He was the first to wonder at my absence when I went outside. I loved his quiet curiosity. <coughs> Parker was the most Good vocal sit. puppy. She was a happy girl who loved chewing sticks and taking naps in the warm grass. She found it hard to stand on the box and tear it up at the same time. Parker could often be found following others around. She didn't want things to happen without her being there. She could also have an adventure on her own though. I have a personal soft spot for black dogs and I loved seeing her healthy coat shimmer in the sunshine. Peyton was the other brindle terrier mix, but instead of the black face, had a white stripe instead. At first, she and I really seemed to bond. She would lay contentedly in my lap. While the others would play, she would give me cuddles. But she had a spunky side. It seemed like she was the one to lead new adventures. It seemed like she usually was the one to initiate play. But she did have her moments of contemplative rest too. Are you glad to be going back? Then the day came to take them back to their fostering agency it's been such a short time, but we got to know each other so well. Here's a snippet from my phone note. Here we go. I just dropped off the dog. And it was kind of sad because this morning they were looking at me from my front door. And they were just there looking at me. So that was kind of bittersweet. But I know that they need to go to their next home. And... They've been trained really well so far, I think, and hopefully that will continue and help them to settle into their new home. I hope this video encourages you to start or continue fostering. The puppies that I fostered have been homeless through no fault of their own. Most opportunities last only a short while, but the dogs benefit for a lifetime from having positive, loving experiences when they're young. 
Stay tuned for my video where I'll discuss how to choose a fostering agency and what you can expect on your journey.